brings up um, the Antoine Carpango Physical Mechanical Institute of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine. And in this talk, I would like to concentrate on some similarities of evaluation of the relation um, still uh, state, uh, considering the relation stage. Uh, so, um, I've divided my presentation into the following sections. At the beginning, I'll give you a short introduction about the problems, and after that, uh, I'll briefly explain um, the role of hydrogen and uh, many stages of in-service uh, steel degradation, as well as limitation of instrumental excitation and evaluating the degradation degree of steels. And after that, I'll um, be to uh, consider some results concerning internal degradation and evaluation of impact of the degradation of steel by uh, using electrochemical mass. And uh, uh, finally, I'll make some concluding remarks. And so, uh, nowadays, a special attention of the scientists is paid to the problem of internal steel degradation. Uh, as you know, Ukraine is uh, one of the most important transit countries uh, to the countries of the European Union. It has uh, the extended network of uh, gas transmission pipelines. Uh, however, uh, pipeline aging and degradation uh, can cause many problems. Uh, thus, embrittlement and uh, um, deterioration of mechanical and corrosion properties are often the results of insect degradation. And um, uh, this leads to a loss of the initial mechanical property degradation. Uh, with, uh, which uh, were put into engineering calculations at pipeline design stage. Uh, pipelines are uh, subject to periodic um, inspections using non-destructive methods, uh, which only uh, detect and size uh, defects and damages. Uh, however, uh, for the proper um, estimation of the residual lifetime of aging pipelines, it's uh, important to take into account uh, the current technical state of pipeline steels. Uh, so, um, a loss of the initial, uh, uh, a loss of uh, brittle fracture resistance characteristics, as well as increasing susceptibility of uh, pipeline seals to stress corrosion cracking and during operation, increase significantly a failure risk. And here you can see some information uh, concerning accidents of gas transmission pipelines occurred in Ukraine. Uh, but, uh, what's more, uh, corrosion is a key issue in the separation of uh, gas pipeline steels uh, due to a destructive role of hydrogen absorbed by metal during corrosion. And the uh, hydrogen uh, uh, charging a metal from inside and outside the pipe uh, leads to a molecular hydrogen accumulation at uh, certain trapping sites at nano and micro scales. And, um, such circumstances um, promote formation, uh, evolution, and accumulation uh, defects at a number of micro scales. And uh, uh, this is a main reason of a decrease of lithography resistance uh, of pipeline steels under operation. And uh, here uh, you can see uh, some examples of revealing damage, damage accumulation by mechanical loading. Uh, based on our previous results, we have distinguished uh, two main stages of insurance degradation. Uh, the first stage is uh, deformation aging, and uh, the second one is uh, uh, damage accumulation. Uh, it's known that under strain aging, uh, strength and hardness increase, and uh, plasticity and brittle fracture resistance decrease. Uh, however, this tendency of mechanical property challenges uh, can be uh, violated if the metal undergoes in bulk multiple damage accumulation. And uh, in uh, such a case, uh, strength and hardness decrease, but elongation increases uh, due to uh, this uh, problem. And uh, no. further uh, operation of the degraded metal leads to additional decrease in uh, reduction in area and brittle fracture resistance characteristics. Uh, so it's very important to um, uh, to evaluate uh, the current technical uh, state of pipeline still uh, using more destructive methods uh, during uh, under operation. And uh, the recent trend is uh, quantifying the degradation degree using non-destructive. 
constructive tests and methods based on uh, indentation uh, tests. Uh, it uh, makes possible to predict first of all strength uh, characteristics of the material. Um, on, uh, first of all, on the uh, stage of the formation, uh, the formation agent. And uh, the usage of this method can be limited if uh, the gradation degree of a tested metal is high when the second stage uh, associated with damage accumulated is dominated uh, because of uh, in the st at this stage uh, strength and hardness decrease. Uh, so it's uh, proposed uh, to um, use for evaluation of the gradation degree um, for metal being operated at the second stage uh, with uh, damage accumulation, additionally non-destructive electrochemical mass. It's known uh, that um, metal uh, environment system is characterized by electrochemical uh, characteristics and uh, uh, any changes in uh, the system should cause a change in uh, electrochemical behavior of the metal. And uh, taking into account that uh, long-term operation causes some changes uh, in uh, metal state, uh, it uh, uh, should be expected that uh, the, its uh, electrochemical behavior will be a change too. And uh, this aspect was used in, in a non-destructive electrochemical method for uh, evaluation and prediction of the current technical state of the material. Uh, it uh, should be also noted that uh, electrochemical tests can be performed on any metal structure uh, without the need extracting of the material specimen uh, for laboratory testing. Uh, so, uh, here you can see uh, mechanical properties of uh, pipeline steels in SRC state and after operation. Uh, and uh, it can be seen that after uh, long term operation, uh, strength properties were. Uh, they had decreased and the uh, characteristics of brittle fracture resistance were sharply decreased. Uh, so these characteristics can be used as uh, mechanical parameters of for evaluation of the gradation degree of uh, fibrous steels uh, during operation. And uh, for uh, further uh, investigations, uh, we used um, impact strands as uh, uh, characteristic practically always put in a regulating document. Uh, here I uh, presented a uh, data uh, show uh, polarization curves and the uh, uh, electrochemical properties calculated from these curves for uh, pipeline states in S received state and after operation. Uh, so, uh, corrosion and electrochemical uh, properties were significantly deteriorated uh, due to operation and um, electrochemical activation of uh, steels uh, was manifested in. Uh, an increase of intensity of the salt and anode processes on the degraded steel, and in increasing um, corrosion current density, in decreasing polarization resistance, and uh, in shift of corrosion potential uh, towards more negative values for the degraded steel. Uh, so, uh, deterioration of a number of um, electrochemical characteristics uh, indicated the corrosion degradation. Uh, which uh, obviously caused by inserted degradation uh, due to a long-term mutual effect of uh, working stresses and uh, corrosion hydrogenated environments. And uh, the chemical characteristics have different sensitivity to inserted degradation of material. Uh, so it's important um, to compare the results uh, showing um, relative changes in the same degradation degree. And for presented here results, a uh, um, ratio of a certain um, characteristic for degraded material for the same characteristic of the SEC state was used. And uh, it can be seen that relative changes in uh, corrosion potential and table constant were insignificant. Uh, however, uh, other characteristics were enough sensitive to uh, material degradation. And the uh, uh, determination of the polarization resistance is easier than other characteristics, so uh, we use this parameter for further investigations. Uh, this slide uh, illustrates um, various changes in polarization resistance uh, for exclusively uh, two-strand grade pipeline steels. 
uh, after a different time of operation. And uh, so the um, theory of observed decrease in uh, impact strength properties for uh, these steels is accompanied by decrease in polarization resistance. Uh, so uh, not only corrosion degradation but also uh, degradation of involved material properties uh, can be estimated by changes in electrochemical uh, properties for the, the material. And uh, here uh, presented an acceptable correlation uh, observed between relative changes in impact strength and uh, polarization resistance uh, for uh, pipeline steels uh, uh, across their in service degradation. And uh, uh, this correlation enables an evaluation of uh, involved material properties changes uh, by uh, determining uh, changes in their uh, chemical characteristics. Uh, so it, it uh, should be also noted that only relative changes in uh, these uh, characteristics correlate between themselves but not absolute values of uh, these uh, parameters. And um, to use this correlation in practice we really need to know the initial mechanical properties of the material as well as uh, uh, initial electrochemical characteristics of this material. And uh, the problem is resolved when there is a metal in the initial state, uh, for example, the air pipe in the case of oil and gas pipelines. And in other cases, uh, we, um, we propose uh, to use a metal of a metal structure with minimal operational structure as a reference material. And here I presented an example of application of the chemical method for evaluation of the degradation degree of uh, oil uh, pipeline steel after 28 years of operation. And in this case, uh, we should compare not only as received uh, material and the operated one, but also um, different uh, sections of uh, operated pipe uh, should be distinguished uh, due to a possible more intensive degradation degree of the bottom section still due to uh, hydrogenation uh, caused by um, corrosion in residual water. And uh, presented here data shows that um, um, long term corrosion uh, caused a decrease in both electrochemical and uh, impact strength uh, characteristics for the material. And uh, it was impossible to uh, determine impact strength of the uh, bottom section steel in the laboratory due to uh, denominating and uh, presented here data was uh, predicted using electrochemical method based on correlation between relative changes in uh, polarization resistance and uh, impact toughness. It should be also noted that there are only five estimations uh, for application of this method for evaluation of degradation degree of steels and for uh, more well-grounded conclusions uh, it would be um, useful to carry out additional investigations uh, concerning uh, first of all selection of uh, electrolyte for uh, electrochemical tests with, uh, which uh, uh, should not be necessarily the same like operational one but should provide a maximum sensitivity uh, of uh, electrochemical characteristics uh, to material degradation. And uh, uh, presented here data show that uh, uh, sensitivity of uh, electrochemical properties can be increased by applying of deposivating uh, solutions or uh, by increasing test temperature. Uh, also, um, it would be a very respective study concerning uh, obtaining a similar correlation dependence uh, for other mechanical properties which prediction may be uh, more useful in engineering calculations, for example, uh, fracture toughness. And uh, here are some concluding remarks. And uh, the main conclusion is that the uh, non-destructive chemical method can be used for uh, evaluation of degradation degree of uh, steel sand operation at any stage of operation, including a display damaging uh, both in the laboratory and in the field. Thank you for your attention.